say is that up here in Alaska, it is not, uh, what's the word, contingent on whether you're in a very expensive or frou-frou neighborhood to have a playground. There are playgrounds in every neighborhood and they're really cool. So this one is at the Alaska Native Heritage Center, but there are playgrounds all over um, the municipality of Anchorage. Yeah, playgrounds. Oh, her next video is good. Okay, so today we're at the Valley of the Moon Park, and like I was saying, um, the municipality of Anchorage does a really good job with outfitting the parks. And these are all um, public access parks. They're not in certain neighborhoods. You don't have to live any specific place to be able to bring your kids here. Whereas in Florida, you know, if you live in a good neighborhood, there's a really nice park. And if you don't, well, you're kind of, you know, SOL. And of course, they have the requisite bike paths and pavilions and whatnot that you can rent. And there is parking back behind that large uh, structure with the slides for the kids and, of course, the swing set. So the Valley of the Moon Park also has, if you can see that up ahead, a dog park for your little furry person, your four-legged child, which is nice. And this one is, this is David Green Park. The sand pit and of course the rental, um, what is it? those little things you can rent out for birthday parties and whatnot. This feature is cool, it has a walrus on it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Lots of exercise fun for the kiddos. Benches for the parents to sit on. You could even play kickball, soccer, cricket. And now I'm at Campbell Creek Park. And yes, people do, I don't know what this is called, it's not swimming, but uh, people do get in the water down here. And they also launch their kayaks here. But I have spent quite a bit of time at this park. I've done quite a few videos. I did my snowball video here. Um, I also did my snow diving video here. So there are trails that go all the way back that way. I'll take a little walk. I'm not going all the way out. There are trails that go all the way back that way where people do like um, snow ski walking sort of thing. Another section of bridge. We're gonna walk over there and show you the view from there in just a second. There's this stuff that blooms in the summer, well, in the spring and summer here. I don't know what it is. It's obviously from a plant, but it looks, from a distance, almost like fluffy snow or up close it looks like cotton. So, okay, so that path goes pretty far that way. I don't know if you can see, but people are through the trees. They're going that way, and there's a big open field right here. Yeah, it goes far back. I've never been any further than those people are standing right now. This section should look familiar to you. Okay, so I'm on the other bridge. And people are having tons of fun, of course. So this is Campbell Creek Park. And again, this trail goes that way pretty far as well. Okay, and this park is called Windsong Park. And the neighborhood people obviously take great pride in uh, keeping up the flowers, or maybe it's the municipality, I don't know. I saw some ladies out here working on it once.
So down here they have a little track and they maintain it and during the winter you can go um, they keep the ice and snow on it pretty pretty neat and you can go um, skiing or yeah not the regular type of skiing the, the I can't remember what it's called like cross-country trail type skiing So playgrounds everywhere. Bear proof trash cans. Should have showed you some of those at the other parks too. They're kind of complicated to, I don't know. I don't really like them. I almost like touching trash cans. But anyway, playgrounds that what we're talking about. And yet another park. And I would check on the name for you in a second. I'm sure there's a sign somewhere. So this one has like a path for skating and biking. Okay, so this one is called Chenchtnu Muldoon Park. There's some little purple flowers I saw back here and they're gorgeous. And up close they look all spiky and super cool. So cool. But anyway, you guys want to see the, the playground. So parking there is some areas that are astroturf turf they got the little pavilion all kinds of stuff going on over there we'll take a look closer the little spinny things that my daughter loves and a huge um, obstacle course and then over there like the only toy on the playground that I can still get on other than the um, the swing set and parents losing their minds as children don't listen. Okay, so today we are in Wasilla. So this is fireweed. Today we're in Wasilla. Same thing. Um, playgrounds. Really nicely appointed playgrounds. I guess it's just an Alaska thing where either because they know so much of the time the kids are stuck inside because of snow they want them to be able to play outside especially during the summer when there are so many hours of sun and of course there are porta potties always and places for you to play volleyball and just big open spaces and there's a creek down there too Newcomb Park oh, also Wasilla Oh, the ducks are so cute! Don't scare the ducks, you children. Anyway, some ducks that are not being harassed. This is nice. Kids don't float. Remember, they have these at all the parks. Use a life car, life vest. So yeah, like I was saying, and they have the porta potties over there. Alaska really wants to make sure that the kids have somewhere to go outside and play during the sun. I see feet. Okay, hey, hi, it's me, Carmen, an onion in Alaska. And I had done all of these videos and realized that, hey, I'm not in any of them. So today we're at the Russian Jack Springs Park and this will probably be one of our final playgrounds but the reason why we're here is because yes part of the playground is a polar bear that looks like it's eating or spitting out kids so cool they also have a section for like bike tricks and skateboarding which is pretty cool they don't have these at all of the playgrounds so I'm sure you know exactly where I would be as a little kid or even as a not so little kid right here on the polar bear. Uh oh, somebody just decked up. And another section for, for the skating. Plenty of different things to play on. There's even a mock airport terminal. Yeah. 
and always the mountains in the background. Oh wait, oh wait, so fly is over. Anyway guys, I'm an onion in Alaska, so I think I kind of proved my point. There are a ton more playgrounds that we could have visited, but there's only so much time.